What's going on you guys and welcome back to a different perspective. Today we got a video on the guy getting finessed by a girl on a date. Now this has happened to a lot of us. Y'all know I got a former roommate that uh, used to go out on a lot of dates and he used to get finessed a lot. So let's talk about this and let's talk about some of the cues, some of the signals, some of the things that are warning signs so that we know not to be put in this situation ourselves. But truth be told, sometimes the inevitable will occur and you still might get finesse. So let's just better arm ourselves. All right, y'all ready? I'm ready. Watch this. That place was bomb. Hey, yep, yeah, I, I, so yeah, I, I valeted over here. Okay, thank you so much for the food. What? Why are you giving me a hug? What? I valeted over here though. Yeah, yeah, come on. We, okay, yeah, I parked up here. Me, oh, I already called me an Uber. You don't have to, you don't have what? to give me a ride. What do you mean you called you an Uber? Yeah, you don't have to give me a ride. I, I already called myself an Uber. Well, Thank you. Yeah, I mean, you ain't coming, you ain't coming, you ain't coming with me? Yeah, I, I my crib? Uh, I don't know. Your crib? I didn't know where we were supposed to go. Yeah, I heard this girl. She said, I already called myself an Uber. He's like, yo, what you talking about? Why are you giving me a hug? I parked over here. I valeted over here. Let's let's ride out together. I mean, I, I didn't either until you ordered that that six hundred dollar meal. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. What she say? Leading up to that? Uh, I don't know. I didn't know where we were supposed to go. I mean, I, I didn't either until you ordered that that six hundred dollar meal. Zai, she was like, I didn't know we were supposed to go back to your crib after this. He was like, hell, I didn't either until you ordered that six hundred dollar meal. I'm gonna need something after this. What? What? What do you mean? Six hundred. I mean, mean, what? What you ordered? You don't. You don't understand that big old steak you just ordered? Yeah. And we didn't even get to see the salt bay, dude. So, so I'm I saying, like, like what? Wait, 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 wait. wait so you're you really trying to leave me? I did have a, I had a great time. I thought we that were wasn't the thing. Too, but we didn't, like, that ain't the thing. Movie. You gotta hear me out. That ain't the thing. I'm saying like I, I just wanted to come. I know dude from social media, so I thought we was gonna come and you know I was gonna try a couple appetizers and stuff. But after you ordered the steak, I figured you was really into me. If you know what I'm saying. Um. Well, we're at this place where they have nah, man, these you don't amazing. Get it, man. They have you these amazing steaks. I mean, Why who do you think I am, food? Big Meech? You think I'm Big Meech? You know, well, will you bring me here then? What is her nationality? She got a she got an accent. What do you mean? Who recommended this? Why would I bring? Why would you bring me here? I said I wanted to go on a date. We could have walked around, hold hands on South Beach or something. You know what I'm saying? I could have got you a road or something. Some sip. So he's proclaiming that she is the one that recommended this place. So this would be him being put in the position to be finessed by her. She wanted to go to this place. She wanted to eat this, this scrumptious meal, this very expensive meal, something that maybe she herself can't afford, or even if she can afford it, she don't want to pay for it. So she got this guy that has been taking interest in her to pay for this meal. Now, let's, let's talk about this from a different perspective. Now, you might think, well, that's wrong of her for doing. Yeah, I agree with that because at the same time, like I've told you guys previously in actually my very recent, most recent video that I posted yesterday before this one was if you're trying to go out with a female, it's almost best, especially if it's a date type of situation, to go somewhere that you want to go, do something that you want to do and ask her if she would like to tag along with you. It takes a lot of pressure off of, of the guy when he does it that way. Now for her, uh, with a lot of times when females suggest what it is that they want to do, they might go overboard. It might go overboard, especially if it's a female that really knows what she want to be doing. Because a lot of times the females want the guy to lead. They want the guy to have the suggestion of where to go on this date. And the, and the woman wants to come along for the experience type of thing. You know, that's really the best way to go about it. But um, you also got to think about this aspect of it, too, which I will share shortly. Hold on. Let's get back to it. Bad about, about no, 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 no. Make me feel bad. How am I making you feel bad? Because I'm just saying, you're, you're maybe saying we can go get I some booze. I'm not trying to like say that you should come to my house, but I'm I mean, you could come to my house. You, you, you heard what he said? You gotta, you gotta take that into account too. He said that, he's like, I'm not saying that we have to necessarily go back to my house. We can go get some hookah or something. I'm glad he said that because 
the thing that I was about to say before I let the video play uh, was that it's also wrong on his behalf to think that the woman uh, is obligated to come back home with him and do anything just because he took her out on a date and treated her to a nice dinner. Don't think that way either, fellas. Especially if that wasn't the vibe going in or even on the date. You can't expect for them to just go back home and want to sleep with you. That's kind of creepy. That's kind of creepy. If y'all wasn't feeling that, if y'all wasn't real romantic and, and touchy, touchy, feely throughout the entire date and like was whispering in each other ears some of the things you might do to one another, then don't expect for her to go back home with you. You can, you can kind of put it in her ears, see how she gonna react, but if she don't reciprocate, let it be. I'm just saying, I ain't saying come I just Isn't thought we was kicking it after that, not just this, this hour and, and then we done. His his she's not meeting his expectations. You just Oh my god. Time. You oh you know what? You're you know what? I got this. Let's let, let's figure this out right now. My you know what I'm saying? Time out, time out, time out. Time out, time out, time out, time out. Come here, come here. Let's figure this out. She's like, my Uber's here. Hey, how about this? Okay, so I I, I left the tip. So check this out. You give me two hundred and fifty look it, we're gonna make this real easy. I'll Wait, unfollow what? you. She, she he said, I'ma unfollow you. <laughs> Uh, look, look, look at this, look at this. So now she's irritated and don't even want to be bothered by him anymore. She's probably not going to deal with him anymore after this uh, situation. I unfollow you on Instagram. You give me 250 and I'll act like this never happened. Yeah, this is just half of your This is not even, this is way more. Oh That's actually way less than what I actually want from it. Dude, I really uh, want like five. You've been begging me to go on a date with you I for know. three months. I know. And you I understand? just, I literally just you regretted understand? it. <laughs> He's like, I know, I know I've been begging you, and I literally just regretted it. <laughs> Yo, I'm t well, you gotta also think about it like this. He's not playing his cards right either. Maybe she finessed him, maybe she didn't, maybe she actually had a good time, but maybe she's not an easy girl. Maybe she's not really willing to give it up to him off the rip, off the back like that, so quick. Maybe she wants to. Go out on another date with him, fill him out a little bit more. But because you took her on this high, expensive first date, shoo, now you feel it some type of way. You shouldn't have did it. You shouldn't have did it. I literally you just regretted it. Just told you, you oh my gosh. Y'all yeah, would be surprised how often this happens, especially with attractive women. This happens to them more often than you would um, you would be able to imagine because a lot of times they get offers, they get date offers. They go on some of these dates, this type of ordeal occurs. You'll be surprised. Do you think that's gonna, do you think all right. This right now? You know what, ah! I'm going, go get, get, get out of here. You ordered the most expensive steak, you better get your bro, all right. And you saw that? You saw that? She she knows that she's attractive. She knows that she's attractive. She was like, you should be pleasured to be on a date with me. It's like, yo, she, hey, fellas, gotta watch out, watch out. Don't let these ladies feel like they're the prize. Who, where did the money come from? Who pocketed to come out of? Came out of your pocket. That means you the prize, right? All right, that's what I thought. Now, I just realized something. This is that same girl from that one video Y'all remember the video where the girl was supposed to be coming to Atlanta for like All-Star Weekend or something and her boyfriend was trying to prevent her from going? Because he was like, nah, you, I, I know what you about to be doing out there. Nah, you can't go. And she was like, no, no, it's, it's, I'm going with some friends or whatever. It's going to be cool. It's going to be cool. I'm not going to be doing nothing. I think uh, maybe somebody was supposed to be flying her out there or something. And he was like, nah, you about to go out there and cheat on me. He was like, you leave this house. If you leave this house, we done, we through. She was like, nah, you tripping, you tripping. I'm going, I'm going. This is the same girl, they making skits out here. And I knew that one was fake. I knew that was Cap, I knew this was Cap too. But they probably actually went on this date and went to this restaurant, excuse me, and just decided, hey, baby, let's, let's film a little video, make it seem like I'm taking you on a date for the first time. And you know, we got an expectation. I got an expectation to take you home and you're not with it. You're not feeling it. Let's do that right quick. That's what this was. But still, I'm glad they did it because this happens. Because otherwise, why would he be filming this with his phone POV? She would be like, yo, why, what you doing? Why you filming me? This is all cap. This is all cap. But 
it happens exactly like this. And I'm pretty sure she has been through it. She has been on dates that went like this, or he has been on dates that went like this. They both been on dates that went like this. But anyway, yeah, y'all comment down below. What's your thoughts and opinions on this? And um, have you yourself experienced anything like this? We want to hear about it. But anyway, I'll talk to you guys in the next one. See ya.